Let's talk briefly about hammers. You may not think there's much to know about hammers, but there are at least a few things. Um, so right now I have a selection of the hammers you'll see in our shop. Uh, on the right, we have a, a lead mallet, a lead knocker. Um, these are sometimes used for tramming things in or um, assembling pieces. They're used because the lead is very soft, so it doesn't, doesn't mar up the workpiece. Um, but oftentimes now we use these rubber mallets instead. Uh, and this one happens to have a harder face and a softer face on it. So these also are good for tramming in vices, assembling small parts, um, anything where you don't want to mar up your workpiece. This is your standard carpenter's uh, claw hammer. We don't use these too often, um, but they are useful because they have a claw, and this is excellent for prying with sometimes. That's typically what we see them in, in the shop. But primarily in a machine shop, we're using a ball-peen hammer. So it has a rounded face on one side and a, and a flat face on the other. And these are great for striking center punches or um, basically hitting anything metal. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, basic safety, uh, you must always wear safety glasses along with any of our other tools. Um, but hammers can be dangerous because you are sometimes hitting metal with metal and you can cause a little fragment to shear off and you don't want that in your eye. Uh, which also means you never want to hit one hammer with another hammer because these have hardened faces. And if they're not designed to be struck with another hammer, they'll most likely chip. So don't ever do that. But if we want to lay out some holes on here, I have, I have some um, mounting holes laid out on here. The accuracy is not critical. They're just laid out with a Sharpie. But I want to hit them with my uh, drill bit. So I'll use the center punch right here. Line it up. The ball peen hammer is perfect. And all it takes is just a little tap. Again, I line it up. And a little tap. One tip to help from hitting your fingers with a hammer is once you get it lined up, you know that's going to stay in position. So now I'm looking at the top of the punch instead of down where my X is. 